So as you guys may or may not know, I love building old houses, okay? And what screams old house more than your great aunt's house? I mean, you can say this is your grandparents' house, which is probably what I'm gonna put in the title anyways, because that's more common. But just keep in mind when I was building this, I was thinking of your great aunt and your great uncle that live in this, their house is zoned, you know, pretty close to a new school, like a new school district. And your mom wants you to go live with them just so you can go to that new school and like, you know, be in a better school district. So you have to move in with your great aunt and great uncle. That, that was the theme of this house. Okay. So just keep that in mind. But in the title, it will say grandparents house because I mean, I mean, it works for either or, but this is how the house looks on the outside. This is what the exterior is giving. Okay. Very typical Southern Texas, um, ranch style home. Okay. It's two bedrooms, two bathrooms. This home was probably built in, I don't know, like the sixties or something. Um, and I just, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Like just the trees in the back. And a reshade is making it hit even more, okay? Keep in mind, if you guys want this reshade in your game, just go ahead and go download it on my Patreon. I know some of you were having a little bit of trouble downloading the reshade, but that's just because if you don't have all the shaders checked when you initially install reshade, then you will run into some trouble because when I install my reshade, I have all of the shaders checked, okay? Because people that have all the shaders checked, they didn't have any problems. They easily put the reshade in my game. So just go on to any like install reshade video, which I have linked in my description and it'll show you how to do it and check all the shaders. Anywho, um, this is how the house looks on the outside, like I said, and we just gonna go into it. Like we just gonna hop right into this thing. Like I'll, I'll be trying to keep the intros short now. So this is how it looks. All right, here's the porch porch area because you know like old people love sitting outside and people watching which i love sitting outside and people watching too but i think i'm in the old people category now i don't know 30 is slowly approaching but anywho let's just go in here so this is how it looks when you first walk in to the left there is nothing but a wall and a coat rack straight ahead this is a hallway where all the bedrooms and stuff are going to be we're going to get to that later bust the right and this is the main open living area okay this is this is where all the family stuff be going on and i love it i love the openness of it i don't know it just kind of looks like the set of like a 1990s or 80s sitcom like it's giving roseanne okay it's giving uh what's the other show what's that show married with children yeah it's giving that um with a mix match furniture, which I love because I just love like furniture that don't match. Like, ugh, I, I just itch for it. A big fireplace here, the kitchen, which we're gonna go into that, but let's just talk about this over here. Um, it's just a random, I don't know, hallway table right there. Uh, this is a grandfather clock. And right here, this door, it's a side house entrance because in ranch style homes, there's always more than one entrance. So this is just a garage over here so you can come in through that way which most people probably would if they're like you know pulling up in the driveway they'll come in through this way instead of the front door so the front door don't get that much usage but this is the um sitting area where they watch tv and knit and do all that stuff with some mentos right there uh, a cup probably that the great uncle or grandpa was drinking out of we got a cuckoo clock because uh old people love stuff like that aka me um and here's the garage it's a little freezer here and um the washer and dryer area even though they're gonna dry their clothes outside because ugh, old people seem to do that like they'll have a whole dryer and still like hang their clothes outside for some reason but yeah so coming right back in here here's the kitchen and this is probably the best part well my favorite part of the house um you guys can let me know which yours is but this is mine because look at the cornflakes and cranberry juice i don't even go but look at that and the homemade jam and breakfast and peeled oranges on the table like this just screams like you and all your cousins are sleeping over and like they made breakfast and now you're just like up eating breakfast sitting there kind of distantly watching the tv it's probably bold and the beautiful on the tv or something like that and you just sitting there with your cousins eating ah <sighs> good times anywho so this is some other like random stuff that you would have i guess you know like some jello wafers these little strawberry wafers because th those are always at my great aunt's house blue homemade vanilla ice cream she baked a pie for some reason um kool-aid biscuits like 
just everything everything that you would think of that would be in a kitchen that same white refrigerator you know that white refrigerator is classic okay a iron because what the what old people gonna do they gonna iron their clothes okay now me i just throw my clothes in the dryer and call it the day but they're gonna iron their clothes and here's like a cooler where like the drinks and stuff would be they'll be in a little cooler here's the backyard area see what i tell y'all about old people hanging their clothes up told y'all and it's just a garden area we got two big trees here these are supposed to serve as like lemon trees or tangerine trees or something but yeah sitting area so she can sit and admire the stuff that's in her garden we got some greens over here some kale some strawberries just a lot okay you know how people are with their garden i want a garden so bad but i'm just lazy and this is how the back of the house looks i love it i love it okay it's dark super dark here at night but it's okay because you're not really gonna be in the backyard at night anyways because the mosquitoes gonna tear you up unless you have some skin so slow <laughs> if you know you know um but here's a little small patio area we have a broom here um to sweep the concrete because my granny loves doing that for some reason and just some two little chairs just to sit back and you know just kind of relax relax your little drink maybe even your coffee but yeah and the microwave is going to be on the counter so i finally have a functional microwave because i usually use the ones that go over the stove um but i decided to put that one on because um yeah in most older homes they don't have the microwave that's over the stove so yeah going back to what i was talking about this hallway over here this is where all the bedrooms are and you can still see you can peek you can knock on the knock on the window hey um can i go outside i don't know but uh here's a hall closet vents and stuff to control the house and boom right here this is your great aunt's room great aunt and uncle's room your grandparents room however you want to use it i'm gonna keep saying great aunt uh but yeah this is their room right here it's always dim in here we got sewing stuff random sewing stuff some pedialyte probably got a headache or something um a chair because there's always a chair in old people's rooms they just gotta sit down some first aid kit just in case um a big mirror here a little tv um i guess this house i made this house with like 90s vibes you know um in mind and also i just don't feel like old people really like change their tvs like that i don't know this the big booty tvs are still at my great aunt's house and my grandparents house so love them some big booty tvs this is the bathroom we have medication here inhaler um was that peroxide or something and just like you know stuff that would be in the bathroom y'all know some spray behind the toilet a plunger and then the shower tub yada 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 and this is the closet and coming out here let's go to the teens bedroom because like i said teenager had to move in with their great aunt to go to a better school but before that let's talk about the bathroom it's the bathroom right here i mean it's not much to talk about it's just a just a bathroom it's the bathroom that the teen uses and whoever comes over they use that bathroom but yeah this is her room look at that look how the light is hitting like the graphics are just chef's kiss chef's kiss 10 out of 10 um but yeah she has a pretty nice room love it here's a carpet too love love this bedroom and here's a closet again but yeah that is pretty much it for the house we can start back from square one which is right here which is the front door i just love the way this house is constructed and i love like hallways and rooms connecting to different rooms like that's my that's my style um i am going to show you guys how it looks at night because i love night shots and it just looks very cozy and comfortable at night like i'm just show you guys how it look at night so this is how it looks at night okay i don't know why i'm whispering <laughs> i started to whisper because it's nighttime here by sleep but um this is how it looks at night i am a sucker for lights peeking through the house when it's nighttime like it's dark outside but you can still see that there's people at home because you can see like the lights i love that love that but let's just go in here again at night like look how look how look how look real this looks hey look at the lighting are you kidding like wow 
I love this. What if y'all like, girl, we can't see shit. <laughs> but I love it. Like, look at the kitchen. Like, the kitchen lights. Like, the little dim little lamp here. Wow. I, yeah. This is so, it's so dark. Um, Let's see if we can, like, make our way to the... Okay, still some light um, illuminating through the bedroom. So look at the teens' room at night. Wow. Yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Having to sneak out of your room, try to go get some water or something to drink because you're thirsty and you, like, sneak over here to the kitchen. Um... Then the lamp's on in here. It just looks really cozy. Like, I just want to get in this bed and go to sleep, really. Yep, time to get in the bed. Time to get in the bed and go to sleep. <laughs> the fact that... That's kind of, like, innovative, though. Like, the TV is right here, so you can lay down. You can just watch the TV. Like, that's, that's smart instead of having the TV, like, right in front of you. Just have it right here so you can lay down, crouch down a little bit, get in the bed, watch TV. But anywho, yeah, that's how the house looks at nighttime. I just want to show you guys. Oh, now I'm lost. What, where am I at? Oh, I just want to show you guys how it looks at night because um, a lot of people be interested in that. Um, but yeah, so that is it for me. If you guys want this home in your game, just go ahead and download it on my Patreon. That is where all of my bills are. Everything that I ever show is on my Patreon, except for the realistic world because I'm not done with that yet. So that's not on my Patreon, but all of my bills and reshades and stuff on my Patreon. Just go ahead and head on over there and put this build in your game. Um, I also will be probably uploading the move in ready version to this. Um, which will just not have any furniture in there. It'll probably still have like the backyard stuff and um, like the lights and everything, but it just won't have any furniture. So you guys can decorate this house however you want it. Um, so it will be a furnished version and a move in ready version. So if you download the move in ready version, it'll be empty. Furnished version is the one I just showed you. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.